This is Scott from Mile Issue Ward. This is day seven. We're at mile 80 starting point right here today. Looks like a nice day. It's gonna get a little higher up into the 70s today. So we're getting an early start. It's about seven o'clock heading west. treated all of the things that we're going to wear for three days. These are my gaiters. They're um, OR Outdoor Research gaiters. I only treated the outsides. So, so the gaiters. And then I have three shirts that have been treated only on the outside. So those are two shirts there. And I've got three pairs of pants, socks, everything on the outside only. My other shirt, my shoes, and my hat. And I got it the rim on the ins on the bottom and then the entire outside part. And it's Wednesday night. We're gonna be walking on Friday. So I'm just gonna let these hang in the garage for until tomorrow night, until I pack everything, and it should be good and dry. So it should be good for six washes or forty around forty-ish days. So this is the first thing. So the gators themselves are going to provide some protection from the ticks climbing up. And I'm going to tuck my socks into my pants, the Promethean itself. And, and then we're going to have a hotel room uh, for the two nights and the three days so that we can do inspections and shower. And, get all the other bug stuff off and everything. So Pixie is not going on the next three days, my golden retriever, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I used the Sawyer brand of permethrin, and I didn't see that it really did that well, so I may try a different brand in the future. The ticks seemed to crawl up the pants that were heavily applied, and also the gaiters, and it... Just didn't seem to work like it should have. 7.39, I thought we'd be on the trail by 7.30. Yeah, yeah. Not bad. We're usually never early, we're always a little late. <laughs> So now we're off the road and we're coming into the trail right after that bridge over that creek. And uh, we come upon this, something that I had uh, read about and it was a little display. Was, what I didn't do is I didn't, I didn't video the other side of this post which said north and it was pointing north. I didn't do that in this. I think that was to signify some sort of North Pole display of some sort. Yep, there, there, there it is. But on the back side of this post, there was another <laughs> sign. I didn't get that right here, and that said North. I tell you, these gators don't uh, allow for a whole lot of ventilation. <laughs> As you listen to 
the walk here, you'll hear labored breathing from me, and I'm just kind of getting my legs and still remnants of um, being out of shape for sure and COVID. As the day went on here, I got a lot, a lot better. And then day two and day three of this series, but virtually not a problem at all. Here we're approaching M72 for the first time. We're going to do a cross. And ticks really weren't an issue as much on this side, or maybe because it was colder. They were just less active. And as soon as we crossed here and got into this trail, maybe a half mile or so is when we really started seeing a lot more tick issues. trail goes through Mackinac, right? I know it does. It's the only place you can cross. There's one crawling actively right there. We were walking on a uh, ridge here on both sides. And I just thought this was a nice view here. And there's a similar view on the other side, except there's just more trees. But you can kind of see we're walking on the spine here. And it would curve left as we uh, continue to walk on this ridge with uh, drops on both sides. Trail crosses highway, watch for traffic. <laughs> the ridge and this whole section was just absolutely beautiful walk. And uh, just had to, you know, just to watch for ticks in here. And, but very enjoyable. An excellent scene here at the Fly Fisherman and the river and the bridge. We've elected to walk on the road to avoid the ticks. The trail is off to our right, across the road in the woods there. That bridge that you saw in the last scene would have been the bridge we would have walked across. It's a little sketchy with the traffic here and going across the bridge, but I'll serve two problems, I guess. We're coming up on the Mason track pathway. It's off to our left there. And we're coming into it here. And this is on the Harbor New Campground Road. That's M72 there, and then off to the left is the road that goes to the campground, but this is right on the corner. I want to thank you for sticking around and watching the video. We did about 10.3 to 10.4 miles, somewhere in that range. And there were ticks, heavy tick populations in the first part of the trail and the last part of the trail. It was a good day, so... I want to thank you for stopping by and watching the video, and until next week, take care and thank you. <laughs>